Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tech Club channel. So today's blog, we are going to discuss about TCP. So the TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. TCP is a layer 4 protocol, means it is a transport layer protocol. Okay, so the basic fundamental of TCP is it is a connection oriented means in TCP the user is ensured about the data transmission to the end user. So if here we have a user it's sending something to the user 2. So TCP ensure that your data will be definitely transferred to user 2. This is why TCP is connection oriented. Now TCP is reliable. TCP is reliable because you can trust on TCP that your data will be transferred from source to destination. Next, acknowledgement. So TCP is also reliable and connection, connection oriented because it provides the acknowledgement. That means the destination will definitely reply back to the source that I have received your data because of acknowledgement technology. Next, the sequence number. So in TCP, this sequence number is maintained because of the data transmission does should not be interrupted. Let's say source has sent 10 packets to the destination and destination has received only 5 packets. Means there are 5 packets dropped. So what TCP will do? TCP will again retransmit those 5 dropped packets to the destination. So this is what retransmission in the TCP. Next TCP do a TCP handshake that is called TCP handshake. We'll see how the TCP handshake happen. So TCP handshake happened because of three packets, SYN, SYN ACK and ACK. So whenever TCP is establishing a connection from one source to other destination, so before establishing that connection, it, it create a TCP handshake. It's do the TCP handshake, handshake to create the connection. Next, we have error checking. So in TCP, we have error checking by the flow control. Let's say if there is an error in the packet, so that error will be identified by this flow control. TCP is slower. So TCP is slower because it ensure the data transmission. Unless and until the data has not been transferred, TCP is not going to do anything else. So this is why TCP is slower. It care about the data acknowledgement. Also the header length in TCP is 20 bar. Th this is big. This is big instead of UDP because it, UDP has only 8 bytes. And why it is 20 bytes? Because it add more header in every packet. So that's why it is 20 bytes. Also TCP does not support broadcasting. So with this TCP protocol, you cannot do broadcasting. Broadca broadcasting means transferring your data from one source to everyone like television. Also, this TCP works on some, so some protocols who works on TCP are HTTPS, HTTP, FTP. So this is all about TCP. Now let's see how this TCP handshake occurs. Now let's see how the TCP handshake occur. So first we have a PC that is called PC1. We have another PC, PC2. So first the PC1 will send a SYN packet to PC2. So this is how PC1 has sent a SYN packet with the high message. So SYN packet has sent to PC2. Now on behalf of this SYN packet, TCP PC2 will reply back to the PC1 with the SYN ACK packet means let's say in common word TCP PC2 will say hello. Now on behalf of this SYN ACK packet PC1 will reply back to the PC2 that I got your reply thank you and that is called a acknowledgement packet. So this is how our TCP handshake happened. So this is all about a summary of TCP. In the next video, we will discuss about UDP. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, please do like, comment, subscribe and share with everyone. If you have any query, please let us know. Thank you for watching.